Good evening. This is CTV News for Friday, February 21st. I'm Patricia Vallone. Thank you for joining us. Well, two Temple Hills residents are battling a backyard sinkhole problem that keeps getting bigger and bigger. And so far, there's no solution in sight. Ella Rogers, who lives on Wessex Drive, says she first noticed the sinkhole after her grandson fell into it almost two weeks ago. Since then, she's called the county, but nothing has been done to fix it. Another man who did not want to be identified says he also has a hole in his backyard. For more than a year, he says he's called several county agencies, including the Department of the Environment, to complain. It's a health hazard. Uh, my nephews come over. I have a dog. Um, I can't properly mow my lawn. Um, and it's also causing uh, drainage issues. Called uh, 311, and a guy, he came out the next day and looked at it, and he said that, Pretty much there was nothing he really can do because it was a septic tank was there that was removed and they didn't pack it down correctly and all the houses in the area was going to soon have that problem. Well, county officials say several agencies are reviewing the complaints. Two additional suspects are arrested in connection with the death of a Charles County teen, Bradley Brown, who is the son of a Prince George's police officer. Brown was gunned down in his driveway Tuesday night in the 3100 block of Warehouse Landing Road. The two suspects taken into custody have been identified as Waldorf teenagers Mikhail Kwadi and Kishan Belasco. They're accused along with 17-year-old Daryl Freeman. Police say the killing was drug related and that multiple witnesses say Brown had been selling THC vape cigarettes prior to the shooting. The Trump administration adds six countries to the travel ban. The administration is suspending entry into the U.S. of immigrants from Burma, Eritrea, Kyr Kyrgyzstan, Nigeria, Sudan and Tanzania. It says that these countries have deficiencies in sharing terrorist, criminal or identity information. The new ban goes into effect starting tomorrow. Democratic presidential candidate Michael Bloomberg names former Baltimore Mayor Stephanie Rawlings Blake as one of his national political co-chairs. Rawlings Blake will help guide election strategy. In a statement, she called Bloomberg a no-nonsense leader who has taken on the country's toughest fights. She joins other former mayors as co-chairs including Philadelphia's Michael Nutter, Miami's Manny Diaz, and Los Angeles' Antonio Villagrosa.